Hello everyone, it's an i80386SX Vintage Computer Production. And the computer itself is not the star of the show tonight. Uh, you can tell we have a old compact LTE Elite in front of us tonight. This particular model is a 450CX. I had to, didn't remember what I was working on. What we are going to look at is a little something that was recently created by the low-end Mac community, or that's at least where I heard of it. It involves the internet on Windows 95. And I am going to use the high speed, no, I don't want to call it high speed, but I am going to use a an actual ethernet card, it's a 3Com, so I don't feel like hee-hawing around with the dial-up tonight. So, I want to show you we're going to go to Wikipedia, I think that's how you spell it, and it says, heck no, what are you doing, guy? Are you insane? Well, yeah. But we have something else to try before we, I think that's it. Beautiful. So that loaded like a charm. So, what, what does this frock find exactly do? Well, it says right below, the search engine for vintage computers. And look it up, it loaded real fast on this 486 with Internet Explorer 3.0. I think it's supposed to be 3.02, but... Who cares? Uh, anyway, so let's try Wikipedia again. There's going to be no chance if I can't spell this. And we got a very stripped down version of a search engine. This, is, this concept is very similar to the video I did on 68k.news. Oh, okay. Couldn't parse the text. And if you haven't watched that video, I'll give you a brief synopsis of that is that 68k.news is Google News without the pictures, or, in my words, without the crap. So, let's see what we can do here. And we are... getting... some resemblance of Wikipedia. It's a very watered-down version, but it did search, so... Got help desk, local embassy. So that's kind of cool. All sorts of Wikipedia. So now let's try to do our favorite search on our channels of good old trees. Let's try to go to the Wikipedia on trees. Now before I go too far into this, how does frog find work? Well, it's basically, it's... It's taking searches from, I think it's DuckDuckGo, I think it's the search engine. I gotta get beyond the Google side of things, but... <laughs> but this, uh... Takes all the images... You can click on the images one at a time. Oh, hold on. I want to go back to that. I saw something of value here. Uh-oh. I think the computer froze up. Oh, no, there it goes. Uh-oh. Let's try that again. Well, let's do the master of the happy little trees. Oh, actually, let's go back here. I'm a little disorganized here. No such thing as scripted comedy here. So, yes, this was actually built by Action Retro. And he's, this is a link to a YouTube channel, which they go to work on this thing. So you'll have to load up frogfind.com and on a modern computer and look this gentleman up or lady. I don't know who they are, but <laughs> I believe it's a gentleman. I believe he's a gentleman. Yes, it is. his name is Sean. And he is a vintage Mac person. I do have a handful of vintage Macs myself. I do rather enjoy them. 
and this pretty much tells you how frog find works and yep DuckDuckGo is deep indeed the search engine that is used through this and and it basically converts this to the internet of the 90s so real cool tool here and Sean designed this for especially for Macs but it does work on PC as you can tell so let's go back and find Bob Ross Let's go back to Wikipedia. Look at how fast that loaded. That was pretty instantaneous. And, and you can read all about Bob Ross. And there are two images, so. And we got an image of Bob Ross. In 2021 on a computer that was probably made back when Bob Ross was still alive. Go figure that. I doubt the YouTube channel's gonna work, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's okay. I didn't expect that to. If, it, if this thing could stream video, I'd be really shocked. Let's try Bob Ross Inc. Deal of the day. Well, this site doesn't work very well, but. Let's try Reddit just for fun here. We're just screwing around at this point. And it loaded something. It's better than what it would have done without Frog Find. Oh, Facebook. Well, is that really a bad thing? <laughs> Social media. You connect with it. Uh, I have family members all over the world. I connect with them on it, but... There's a few good things on it, but... Yeah, other than that, you don't really need it. Alright, so let us try... Yahoo! Wanted nothing to do with that. I'm trying to think of what else I could possibly do. I don't know, I had better ideas for this video and I... Unfortunately, I'm coming up with a, a blank here. I think that's the website. I could be wrong. That is not it. Sorry, folks. I better look that website back up again. We are definitely not doing that today. Like 68K ML. Yes, so I was missing one very important letter. The letter K is everything here, and it was a .org website, so... <laughs> Yeah, that should be a little bit more family fun right there. That's more like it. So, it loads this website okay. And you got forums for Macs. This is a Mac website, so that one's going to focus on Macs. Uh, what else can we do? I think it Macintosh Garden. I'm just coming up with stuff just for fun here at this point. Yeah, that one works just fine. Or at least semi-fine. Does have an image? Well, I know what's unsecure. Let's see. Don't worry, we're not downloading any torrents today. Now the billion dollar question is, can you download 
Just forgotten. Oh, no downloads. Just for giggles. Could I download this without Frog Find? Nope. Okay, well. I don't want to bit toward it anyway. I don't want to get into that. Down that rabbit hole. Just for, because we're working on a vintage compact, let's see. That's not a web page. Whoops. No, we got eBay. I don't think that's going to work, but we'll try. Mm-hmm. Well, it gives a little history on it. That loaded. That's kind of cool. I think some in Canada. Or, I don't know. I have no idea. But lots of uh, Ebays. Oldcomputers.com. It does a lot of XDs, and well, there's some readable text on there, so let's see if we're... See if it provides any insight here or what it could all do here. That's a good one. So it's it's definitely hit or miss, but you're trying to convert 20, 30, 35 years of of internet into one thing, I mean, that's that's going to be very tough. So I can't really say I, if this did work flawlessly, I'd be really shocked. Let's see, it goes archive.org work. I do want to try a download. I mean, I have a feeling that would be very useful here. But okay, it's uh, it's giving us our speech. So, yeah, this is pretty much, you can't download anything with this, from what I can tell, but... I know I haven't really messed with anything on here, so I am as new to it as you are if you haven't watched this before. Get the Wayback Machine, and finally... So, yeah, this is basically looking up documentation. Would I would imagine probably what the purpose behind this is, or at least that would be the useful purpose behind this. It may sl work slightly better with Netscapes and not Internet Explorer, because this is designed for Macs and mine, so. But last but not least, in case you haven't seen it on my previous channel. Oh wait, I did that wrong. Could have almost went to another porn site. We don't want to do that. There's 68k.news if you haven't seen it already. On a 486 in all its glory. And if you feel that this is a trick, we'll go right to system properties and it is a 486 with 24 megs of RAM. It's actually a max, it's pretty well maxed out. I'm kind of shocked on that. Ain't it beautiful? I mean, it's not perfect because you're, like I said, you're trying to convert upwards of 35 years of internet. So, but internet without the crap, don't you love it? I do. Those advertisements make me sick sometimes. There's so many of them, and they overtake. And 
See, we even got Julian Edelman is retiring, big sports fan, so <laughs> we know that's April 12, 2021, so no tricks there. And that's about all I can think to do with that. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to answer many questions on it. Uh, the contact information to the YouTube channel that this actually was featured on it, Action Retro, it would be the better place to ask them questions. But, if you have any questions or comments, well, feel free to leave them in the comments section. I'll do my best on it, but it's not my work. That's Action Retro's work, so... Go thank him if you like it. If you don't, well, go go to him. <laughs> thank you for watching.